I put my cat on the largest billboard in New York City. Now, billboards have been around since around the 1800s, starting off by presenting the circus, Oreos, Coca-Cola, and even as far as Mr. Beast promoting to sub to PewDiePie. Nowadays, it's nearly impossible to think about New York City, Times Square, or any giant cities for any time of day not broadcasting ads all the time. We're constantly surrounded by it in today's society. Then I saw something that was super interesting. Take over Times Square using the TSX app. Essentially what this allows you to do is upload a 15 second clip onto a billboard in Times Square. This made me think, how can I use this to my advantage? All right, so here's the plan. Get a good picture of my cat. Photoshop it into something cool. Three, put it on Times Square. Four, profit. Here's why I would show a fast paced version of me making something in Photoshop, but I forgot to record it and I don't have Photoshop anymore. So here's an artist rendition. Finally, my masterpiece was complete. I present to you Umbrella Lith. After the creation of Umbrella Lith, all it took was making the rest of the GIF. I threw on a quick little GIF in the background, let everybody know who Umbrella Lith is, and then she was my cat, and we had our finished product. With some added product placement. Hey, don't get mad at me. It's 2023. Everybody's got their own grind. That being said, go ahead and like, follow, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Next, I had to find the best time to put the billboard out there. Ideally, I wanted the most people to see it. So I took a look at the week coming up. And really, Tuesday at 9 p.m. was the best. With me trying to stream Thursday for Season 1 of Diablo, I thought that would be the time that I'd put in. What could possibly go wrong? Who would have thought that one of the biggest artists on the planet would content block me? Post Malone. That's right, I got fucking content blocked by Post Malone. No hate to Posty, I love him, but he was doing a album release on that date, so I had to go ahead and change since it wouldn't let me put in for Tuesday to Wednesday at 9. I did get a chance, however, to record some of Post's playing to a gigantic crowd, so enjoy. I don't know how much I can actually get away with playing for possible copyright. While it is cool to think that Post and I think alike, because this is a really cool way to present an album and have a listening party. So shout out to Posty. Again, he's awesome. Love it. And thank you for the clickbait. With everything nearly said and done, now the only thing left was to wait for the stream. All right, the final 10 seconds came down to it. I was very eager, waiting for it, and then it skipped one. Yeah. <laughs> We did it. Oh, it's cutting off the bottom, but that's fine. We did it. Oh my gosh. Finally, after waiting for so long, I got my dream to come true. I got my cat on a billboard for all of New York to see. Now, what did I learn about this whole process? If you got $40, you can share your cat with the whole world. You can put any image that you want up there within reason and have some fun. That's the biggest thing. In today's day and age, the world is so crazy. You got to have fun. Last but not least, shameless plug once again. I'm streaming on Twitch and Kick July 20th for the kickoff stream of Diablo 4. If you like the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Give me a follow. If you want to see me do more stuff like this or anything else crazy in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comments. But don't forget, you're doing everything right today and you matter. Goodbye.